Hi everyone, this is episode two. Um, if you haven't watched already, um, I've started to create a series, um, getting to know me and getting to know you guys a bit better, what you want from me um, around art and classes and getting to know my business a bit better. Uh, so last week's episode was why I make art and today it is why I like working with kids. So I think <laughs> it stems from being in high school and feeling like I didn't fit in. I was creative and the high school that I went to didn't um, kind of embrace um, artistic intelligence. I think they were more about sports and um, traditional subjects and I don't want kids to experience that. So for me as an adult I've learned to use art uh, to be resilient and I'd really love to teach that to kids. Um, so art is my thing, no one can take that away from me and I want to show that to the kids as well. It doesn't matter where you are, you could be in your car waiting for something, you could be in your backyard, you could be in your bedroom, all you might have is a pencil and a paper, a piece of paper or you might have other supplies. It's accessible to everybody. Whatever you have, you can create art. Um, at school, you're taught to colour between the lines. Leaves have to be green, that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of copying. I don't think there's much creativity. And when I started teaching homeschool kids, there was a huge difference between what I saw. They, they had a lot of creative freedom. They didn't know um, those constraints from school. And I wanted my classes to be like that for all students. It didn't matter um, where you were coming from. Um, I wanted them to have that creative freedom and to be able to explore and experiment without fear. Um, I have a motto that is, there's no mistakes in art, only happy surprises. And it means that the kids have to think outside the box and find a solution for something um, if something's happened on the page that they haven't expected or <laughs> they don't really like. They need to think of how to fix it and it always comes out better than they thought. Um, my classes are student-led which means that each term we come up with a program for the next term and if they want to swap classes around, if they prefer to do something sooner than one of the other classes we do that or if someone has a completely different idea um, in the middle of class and they want to go with that, that's fine because I don't want them to feel restrained. I want them to use their own creativity. I don't overburden them with technical skills. So we do have a set program and I do have an idea in mind and I do program for that class but it's more about teaching them the skills that they can use to create their own art in their own time as well. So they will always create an amazing artwork um, each class, but it's more about having a space for them to feel safe. So it's very relaxed here. I have my art space in the middle of my home. There's paint all over the tables, <laughs> so they don't feel worried about... Um, yeah, accidentally splattering some paint or something on the tables, that's fine. Um, it's a really small group, so I have uh, usually six kids in a class, and it means that the kids get to know each other really well. They get to know me well. Um, they feel safe enough to be themselves. So I know a lot of kids are struggling in school to fit in, or um, yeah, they might just find it a bit tough, I guess, and this seems to be a really nice space for them to just let their hair down and be themselves which is really lovely so at the beginning when I started teaching classes I thought I would be teaching art classes but it's kind of grown to be something more which is really really lovely um, it's nice to see leadership from the older kids so they're always helping out the little kids everyone in the class always talks about what's working for them what's not working for them and they share that with everyone else and um, so yeah so they get to be teachers as well which is really lovely and yeah there's no pressure from me um, as to what they create at the end so it means that they can add extra bits to their artwork if they want to or 
um, go off on a little bit of a tangent, but in the end, they've created something that's come from them. No one else has done that for them. And I think that's really, really special. So I want them to have that realization that they have this creative spark inside them. And if they're having a good day or a bad day or whatever it is that they can always come back to art and have that for themselves. Um, so yeah, it's not really just about the art, which is lovely. And yeah, I have an absolute belief in my students that they're amazing human beings. And I think I have the best job in the world. <laughs> so I teach after school classes two a week um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I teach holiday classes. Um, there's usually around four each holidays. And I also teach one-on-one -on -one classes, which is great for kids who don't feel comfortable um, having group lessons. We'll just work one-on-one -on -one and we'll come up with an idea for them. And they can be booked after school or on the weekends. And I also have a really lovely class called Connect With Me, which is for one adult and one child. And they seem to be popular for birthday presents. Uh, it's a lovely class for you to make memories with your child everyone's super busy with work and stuff and um yeah coming here you just kind of forget about all that stuff and you just make memories and make beautiful artwork together and that's really lovely um so if you want to know more you can head to my website creativeabyss.net um or you can comment send me an email let me know um if you're interested or if you have any comments about what i've said today all right see ya